you have made your own very uh i don't know if splashy is an adjective but uh powerful uh controversial conjectures about for instance whether or not we might be in a simulation and i'm wondering if you think it is possible or likely even that there are societies out there that have already reached uh for instance a a post-scarcity utopian stage because i think the having a dyson sphere if uh whoever sent our way had a dyson sphere we would classify them probably as being in a a post-scarcity period assuming that they still have other dyson spheres yeah i mean so that i mean post-scarcity they might not i mean it depends a lot on what their goals are and um it might be that the Dyson sphere of resources is nowhere near enough for what they are trying to do. Um, and so it is to some extent a human con like, um, it, it's not like a very precisely defined concept. It like, you could say like for few humans, so you could say that we are already, uh, somewhat close in some respects. Well, if you're, if you are like fortunate enough to live in a, in a, in a rich country and you have a, I don't know, like, you're healthy and had a good education, like probably most of your listeners. Like it's probably the case that um, uh, if if you wanted to, you wouldn't really have to work to survive. Like, or if you it's like say say you worked hard, really hard for five or ten years and saved up all the money, you probably could then move to Thailand or something and buy a small hut near a beach and then have enough to eat and be physically healthy and you'd have a computer you could access the internet or whatever for the rest of your life without having to work like it's at least tantalizingly close uh but yet people choose to continue to strive because they want more than just the basic necessities of life right like and in particular we want to have more than other people and so there's a lot of this kind of um, zero-sum status uh, consumption going on with humans um and that could drive scarcity up to astronomical levels right like you yeah you have your own dyson sphere but uh like i have four dyson spheres so like you still need to try to um catch up and and an intergalactic civilization might have practical reasons as well like maybe they fear some other intergalactic civilization that might have a larger fleet of uh warships or something and so um but the difference is like um even if human desires are insatiable it doesn't mean there will always be a need for human work. Like you could reach a condition where even though like you maybe you are worth a trillion dollars and you would like to make another trillion dollars, there's just nothing you can do with your own labor that would make you any significant amount of money because all the work is better do- done by machine. Um, and if, if the most you could make is the minimum wage, then once you're a trillionaire, like, there is no point really working, right? Because it's trivial compared to what you just earned from your capital. And and it might even be that by doing the work yourself, you like expend more calories that cost you more than the actual value of the labor. So you could still end up in this kind of condition of um, uh, unemployment or post-work, e- even if there are still needs that have or desires that haven't been fully uh, satisfied. Um, now, you asked whether I think there are already some that have attained either post-scarcity or I guess you could generalize it to technological maturity. And I think if the universe is infinite, as it seems to be, like if we have the simplest topology and an open or flat space-time, um, then definitely that would be uh, such civilizations. In fact, infinitely many of them out there. But um, if I had to guess, I'd say none in our in the observable universe. And so that there would be infinitely many of these, but they would have low density. And so... Um, um, we might be out of causal contact forever with the nearest other one. Um, that certainly would help explain the Fermi paradox, um, but it's not the only possible explanation, so we can't rule out that I c- we could share the um, observable universe with some other civilizations as well. 